Hi guys, welcome. Today I am going to show you how I made this super adorable Mulan figurine dressed in her outfit to go meet the matchmaker. For Mulan, I am going to start by making her head. First, I will take some of my modeling chocolate and I'm going to dye it skin color. And then I'm going to use a mold that I made with a pretty generic doll face. And that's going to be my base or my foundation for Mulan's head. From there, I am going to just use my tools and I'm going to shape it and mold it and just make it look like Mulan. Now I am going to start with her body because she is going to be wearing a dress. I don't need to worry about legs or anything like that. So I'm just going to make the shape of the dress out of Rice Krispie Treats, her, the top of her body, and I'm going to cover it in some gum paste to smooth it out. After that, I'm going to worry about all the details, but first the base. I am going to make sure that the gum paste I put over the Rice Krispie Treats is nice and smooth so I don't have any bumps showing through when I put the thin layer of gum paste afterwards. And now it's time to work on the top a little bit. I have dyed my gum paste a nice little salmon color and I am going to cover the top part shaping her a little bit thinner than I actually want her to be so that when I add layers she doesn't end up looking chubby. And now more details. I have dyed this dark, dark, deep red, almost, almost like a burgundy. And now that's gonna be the top part of her skirt. And I'm trying to be careful to make sure that I give it some motion, some um, movement, so it looks, it looks realistic. Now I am getting the center of her body ready for the layers of cloth. So I'm smoothing all of the pieces of fondant that I added. I'm smoothing it out so that I have no creases or bumps underneath my fondant. I am adding a little glue and then we will add the blue bodies part or I'm not sure how it's called, but the blue cloth that she's wearing over her skirt and shirt. She looks so funny with half her head missing, but she's gonna look cute. Mulan, don't worry. I'm going to make you look super cute when I give you hair, don't worry. All right, smoothing out the center again and making sure that it's ready for the next layer of cloth because she is wearing a red belt over all of this. And I wanna keep her waist really thin so that she looks beautiful and like a Disney princess. That's perfect. I am now ready to add her little belt, a waistband, and that's going to be a bright red. I am gluing it onto her body. And now look, she has a thin waist and she looks, she's starting to look so cute. We need some detail around the neck collar part of her shirt. And it is like a very light blue ruffled piece. So that's what I'm going to make it. Thank you. 
Beautiful, she's starting to look so cute. I should probably start working on the arms, but I am dreading the arms because I have a feeling they're gonna be a little bit challenging. So um, I'm going to start working. Maybe I'll start, I'll continue with her head. Okay, so for her head, what's missing? Let's see, I need to make eyes. So a little bit of white chocolate, white modeling chocolate for the eyeballs and shape them the perfect Mulan shape. I'm going to try my best. And now I need to prep her for painting. Remember that Mulan's face in this scene is painted white and I am working with modeling chocolate. So that makes it a little bit challenging to paint because it's greasy. And I figured the best way to do it, I'm going to uh, dust some cornstarch over her face and painted with white. The whole face, it's getting painted white. I probably should have made the whole thing with white modeling chocolate, but at least her ears and her neck are pink, so that, that's gonna be fine. Okay, and now my favorite part, the details, some eyeshadow. I'm gonna add some black and a little bit of purple. And this is, I'm doing this with my chalk dust. Of course, it's edible. And now we need the details, the lash line, a thin, thin, thin strip of gum paste in black and very carefully placed in the right spot. Now we need eyeballs. They need to be the right size. And now let's paint her lips. Oh my gosh, she's looking so cute. So her lips are super bright red, sorry. I have a hard time keeping my work under the camera for you guys, but I promise I'm gonna keep getting better at this. So, so thanks for your patience. Arms, arms, or hair. Let's do hair. I don't wanna do the arms. All right, the hair. Just a bunch of black gum paste and trying to shape it right. She needs a bun and a little bit of detail in her hair. And then I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And after, I'm gonna just add the bun and all the details there. A loose piece of hair because it's Mulan and her hair is not perfect. So um, let's make it go this way. That'll be cute. Just slightly imperfect, which makes her perfect. There. She has pink cheeks, her neck. We gotta work on it a little bit because all that movement is making it break apart. So we'll let it dry like this. And now the part that I've been dreading, the arms. The arms have these super, super long sleeves and they are that salmon pink on top and white on the bottom. So, and they're super long, so I've been dreading it, but we'll make it work. So I'm gonna make a base. I'm gonna make the skeleton with just some plain white gum paste. And I am going to then roll out some white and some of the pink and make the sleeves. Yeah, that piece of black, that, cir that little piece of black that you guys see next to the styrofoam, that's my bun. I'm just letting it dry. Let's make the skeleton. I'm making the skeleton for the next arm. Making sure, the good thing about this one is that it doesn't have hands, because hands can be tricky, but I have a feeling that putting that cloth over it is gonna be way harder than little hands. Let's see. Okay, now some white, some salmon, and I roll them together. And now, wish me luck shaping these sleeves and keeping it from breaking so i am i am using gum paste for this so that it can stretch and retain its shape positioned correctly and now i'm going to make the other one All right, now that the other arm is done, it's time to add her scarf. And this is going to be a super, super, super long scarf. So my 
my piece of gum paste is gonna have to be super long, but unfortunately, I'm not getting a very good angle so you guys can see very clearly, but my gum paste broke, so I had to cut it into two parts. So here is me attaching them to the arm. And now we are back to the hair. I put the bun, I put some red detail to match the red belt that she is wearing. And now I'm going to make a little headpiece with this green gum paste that I have. I just cut the almost rainbow shape. And then, and then it's gonna have a little flower. So I'm gonna make a teeny white little flower for it and add some red stamens. That's it. This is my fancy, very girly Mulan figurine. And next week, I'm going to show you how I made the warrior Mulan. So stay tuned for next week's episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more fun episodes. Bye.